Hello, we gentlemen here. Today I would like to show you a new technique I recently developed, uh, which is to create very painterly looking images. Mm, this technique combines uh, regular photos with photos processed using Topaz Simplify to give them this very painterly look. Uh, before I begin, I would like to show you a few images I recently created using this technique. The first one is a forest to get how vibrant the colors are and uh, how the details were reduced, especially in the background and the foreground in the grass here. The grass isn't very sharp, it's quite blurry and colorful, and also the leaves uh, are looking different than normal. Okay, another image. Mm, it's an autumn uh, photo. In the background, uh, the image is very soft, very painterly, however, the road still looks normally. It's another example of autumn shot uh, for which I use this technique. And yet another. Look at how details were reduced here or here. But uh, the image is as sharp as usual here or here. Okay. So I will now go to Photoshop where I have already a image opened. I will first copy my background layer using Ctrl J command, you can use Command J if you're on Mac. I will name it Painterly and now I will go to Filter, Topaz Labs and Topaz Simplify 4. Now I will uh, simply use Bus Sim preset which is available in Bus Sim category uh, because it gives the most painterly effect, the, the one I'm looking for. So now the plugin will be applied to, to my image. It can take a few seconds. Okay, and here is my processed image. Uh, it looks real like a painting, uh, a bit too much in fact, because I would like to combine uh, look of normal photo with painterly look. So uh, first I will create a uh, layer mask and what I will do is to paint over uh, various areas of this image to reduce the effect. I will use a uh, soft black brush to restore some of the details. I especially like to restore details in foreground, mm, like in this look. Okay, so I have a brush with flow of 8%. Uh, percent. Uh, and it's very soft brush, okay. And I will paint over this log to restore some details here, okay. Also, uh, in this stone, a bit on the ground here, not too much though. Uh, here maybe a little bit. In this rock to also restore some textures because uh, with past sim uh, with topaz simplify, all textures are lost. I usually try to uh, restore all textures or interesting textures in the image and leave uh, things like foliage, uh, water, uh, with this topaz simplify effect so they look uh, painterly. Okay. I try to restore as many textures as possible. Okay. So in this stone and this one maybe. Uh, usually I try to focus on the foreground because uh, background uh, background is usually a little uh, blurry on its own so it will look quite good okay and you keep on painting as long as uh, for as long as uh, you want uh, depending on the effect you would like to achieve uh, I usually try to restore as I said textures and some detail okay you can spend as much time as you wish 
usually I spend quite a lot of time polishing my image but uh, for now I think it's enough okay uh, okay maybe a little bit here uh, now I will uh, reduce the opacity of the the whole uh, painterry layer so the even in the areas over which I didn't paint mm, there is some uh, background photo visible I usually move it uh, to 50 or 70 uh, percent something in this range okay let's compare with the original image wow the difference is huge before and after before and after look at how distracting uh, details here were removed I will just improve it a little bit painting over some rocks in water I always use soft brush okay I will maybe restore some taste here okay basically the nearer the LM some subjects are to the camera uh, the less effect I try to apply as I said okay uh, you can also try increasing vibrance a little bit to or saturation to add a bit more of painterly look okay before after the difference in my case is very subtle because uh, vibrance doesn't affect yellows and oranges that much uh, only greens blues okay so let's compare with the original image and its finished image I will now show you how it looks in large size oh. how it looks in large size it is finished image it looks really painterly but at the same time uh, resembles original photo because we have some details here and here some textures like here uh, mainly water and uh, and leaves grass uh, are blurry or painterly thanks for watching and until next time